Bam, there it is. It has been six days, 23 hours since we stopped doing that to start doing this. Right. And what are your first impressions of the week? I think it was amazing. Wow, <laughs> it was so good, you yes. guys. I, uh, mm. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all your love. Thank you for all the kind things you said. Yes. Um, we are blessed without question. Um, man, I do miss all the beautiful people mm. that I worked with. Uh, you were definitely the best part of the job. Um, and the reason that I stuck around, to be honest with you, for as long as I did. Love you guys. Miss you guys. But blessed to be doing this. Yes. <laughs> uh, a little bit about last week. Somebody commented on a pink bunny. I know. That I heard was about that. Weird. Uh, that was our son in his Ralphie from Christmas Story pink bunny pajamas that we got him because we're cruel parents. And uh, he thought he would like to be sitting in the background when we flipped up the mirror and mm -hmm. showed the mirror. A couple of you caught it and commented. Uh, thanks for the feedback. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Um, you might find an Easter egg or two in this one. I don't know. We'll see. Mm -hmm. If you do, please comment. That's fun. We <laughs> like to have fun with this, too, right? Uh, if, yeah. you're, if you're just doing it, just don't bother. Uh, espresso? <laughs> yes. Love the espresso. Mm. Thank you, my dear. And uh, hey, guys, welcome to <laughs> Harmony Vintage. Uh, this is Insider View. What we do is uh, we work through the week. We put a couple things together. Uh, that we find meaningful or fun, and then we put them in a booth that is at Harmony or at uh, Vintage Marketplace mm -hmm. in Fort Collins on Trilby and College, right? Right. Okay. And they were the <laughs> 2023 NOCO, what was it? Antique Store. Antique Store of the Year. So whatever... Uh, they're award winning up there. So yeah, three, that's three where, years in a row. Three I think. years in a row. Yeah. Right? That's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. It's a pretty great place. So, we're going to show you some things, maybe talk about them a little bit, and then mm -hmm. they're going to be in the booth tomorrow if you want to purchase them. We have a segment we call Rick's Picks, where I just pick out a couple things that are, I liked. And how did we come up with that? You came up with that, actually. I'm not sure. I don't remember, but. I, I like it. So. Well, anyway, we're, we're good. Uh, it rhymes. Uh, it sounds good. It sounds good. It's catchy. Mm. Um, gosh, so you guys know we're new to this business. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our first post-Christmas. I call it post-Christmas because I don't know. I don't think the whole market knows what it's doing. Yeah, that's interesting to me. Uh, some people are yeah. doing winter, not Christmas. Mm -hmm. Some people are doing spring, yellow, pink, green. Uh, yes. Some people are doing Valentine's Day. Right. So the market really doesn't know what it's doing, and neither do we. So <laughs> enter the chaos. Uh, um, we're going to kind of kind of just walk around and, and, and kind of feel our way through it blind and, and yeah. see where we end up. Yeah. December was by far our best month. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, and, and, a, and a little bit of that gave us the courage to do this, to be quite frank with you. Right. Uh, December, we heard, or I'm sorry, January and February, we heard we're going to mm -hmm. drive off a cliff. <laughs> and That's uh, been true so far. <laughs> uh, it's been better than I thought it might be, but still drove off a cliff. How's that? Right. Is that fair? Yes, okay, totally fair. So there we go. There's where we are. True. Uh, new products. Mm -hmm. <gasps> You want to go first? Do you want me to go first? Yeah, well, I can go first. Okay. Yeah, one of the things we were excited about in having more time is that we could do more shopping. So mm -hmm. um, I I create a lot of things, which I will continue to do. But this week, mm -hmm. we got to hit up some thrift stores and find some cool stuff. Yes, we did. And as a matter of fact, last week was you painted everything or made or crafted everything. Mm -hmm. As I look around. This week, it is completely kind of... Yeah, nothing. That's awesome. So... I did work on some things, but nothing... Nothing, nothing made the show completed. yet. <laughs> yes, it's a... Some things We have a process. joke about nothing being completed. If Angie doesn't put the finishing stamp on something, 
she doesn't think she did anything all day long. So that's a, I told your secret. It's a quirk I have. <laughs> okay, you go first. All right. So, yeah. So, um, start off with a little bit of history. We found these neat plates. There's two of them. There's that one. And then there's this one. And I just thought they were really neat. Um, I, I like to include history when we can. So, these are um, for Arvada, Colorado, which we know someone who lives in Arvada. Hi, Bethany. <laughs> and um, and I didn't know any of the history of Arvada till I till I read this plate. But this is um, this one is commemorating the beginning of Arvada. It wasn't always named Arvada, actually. It used to be called Ralston Point or Ralston Station. Oh, interesting. And um, it didn't become Arvada until 1870. It's been around for a while. It has. Um, and the second one, I thought this was interesting, but maybe I am just lame and didn't know this, but it has a streetcar on there because Arvada used to have streetcars. Did you know that? I wouldn't have even thought they would have streetcars, but they did. And um, you could ride the streetcar from Arvada to Denver. It would take 45 minutes and cost 15 cents. 15 cents. Dang, mm -hmm. that's crazy. I know. That's crazy. Kind of neat. I don't know if there are any... If you, you know, know anything about Arvada, there may still be tracks somewhere or maybe a station. I don't know. I don't know. But Good job. Well interesting. done. Interesting. Yeah. What's next? Oh, for me? Mm -hmm. um, well, um, I, I like that one. I know. I think this is so pretty. I like that one. This a is lot. a little candle holder and it has kind of this scroll design. It's... Um, you know, probably yeah probably wrought iron and then we also included this pretty candle in here i, I love the color combination i just think it looks very um, it's strong and soft yeah yeah there's something about it and you know we've been thinking it's about like valentine colors <laughs> <laughs> how much is that Oh, yes, this is $9.99. And how much are the plates? I forgot to say, the plates are $12.99 each. Nice. So. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. good. Yeah. You have something? Sure. Uh, let's see. Let's start with this one. This one oh. here, Angie found this. And uh, so there's things that are hot, right? And owls are hot. Everybody mm -hmm. loves owls. But the thing that is special about this cup is we had a dear friend. I don't think they've seen it yet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There it is. And it's yeah. got this kind of cup holder on it. Yeah. And we had a dear a friend named Nancy Cox. Mm -hmm. And she told us on the last time that we were actually together, I'm sorry, she passed, that she loved these cups with these little kind of cup holders on them like mm -hmm. that, that you can hold like that, warmed her whole hand, she would say. Mm -hmm. I don't know that she was an owl fan, but she was a fan of this cup. Mm -hmm. So uh, we saw this and we had to get it. Uh, one because it's the kind that Nancy liked, and owls are just hot. So yeah, everybody loves a, loves cute. an owl. It's a it's yeah. a good looking quality cup. Mm -hmm. uh, Nancy, mm -hmm. uh, uh, we love you. We miss you still, Scott. Can't even say. Mm -hmm. uh, but here, six ninety nine for the cool owl cup with the uh, kind of built in hand warmer. That was so that one was. Oh, I got to be honest, that one was a little bit emotional for me. Uh, yeah, me uh, too. It uh, kind of grabbed that. my heart. <laughs> it did. Yes. Oh, gosh, let me do this one. Yeah. So, Olympia beer. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, you could not get Olympia beer east of the Mississippi. So, this one's Olympia beer, kind of nice little stein. This stein is from 1904. Yeah. So that's what 120 years old this cup is. And is that crazy? And it's beautiful. It's immaculate. Yes. Uh, this is pre prohibition. Yeah. Olympia beer stein, 1904. It says 1904 right on the bottom. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it, but mm -hmm. you can take my word for it. Uh, and this one here is uh, $29.99 for this one. Uh, Olympia beer, uh, famous in Washington like Coors is famous in Colorado. So anyway, for the Stein Collector, uh, that is a good 
I, we looked mm -hmm. that up and that was much more. That was much more. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's a good price on that for, and it's in such good condition. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and then this one, I like this. I, I've always said there's things people do and, and get and that they're into mm -hmm. owls. People are into owls. Sure. People collect steins. Sure. Um, I'm a fire guy. Right. And uh, I like candles. <laughs> yes, I like candles and fire. So we have this. It's kind of a cool. I don't know how to show you that best. A nice little metal stand mm -hmm. with a big round uh, candle on it. And that is $7.99. So Valentine's Day mm. is coming. Uh, gentlemen, mm. be forewarned. Today is the 10th. You have one month and four days <laughs> to get that handled. Uh, candles, always a nice touch for Valentine's Day. Yeah, or if... If you're just decorating for winter, that would be really nice mm -hmm. too. A pretty white candle on a black metal base. Nice. Look yeah. at you. Yeah. You got all Very versatile. Go get them, dear. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. So I, um, I kind of have a thing for these. This is the first one that I've ever bought, but I'm always like looking at them when, mm -hmm. when we're in stores. And um, I don't know what you call it, a citrus juicer, but this is like the old school it's glass. Um, I don't know that this one is old, but it's very pretty. And I awesome. just thought this would be, I mean, you could use it for sure, but I think these are pretty just sitting um, on a shelf or in a cabinet. And there's a saying that goes, the juice isn't worth the squeeze. Ah, yes. So that basically <laughs> means the reward isn't worth the work that you have to do to hmm. put into it. So if your juice is worth the squeeze, <laughs> awesome. Mm. And if it's not, you should probably put it down and walk away from it. But mm. there is your juicer to mm -hmm. decide whether it's worth the squeeze or not. And that is five ninety nine. Mm -hmm. And a cool thing. Yeah. Those were very popular when I was small. Sure. So that was cool. Yeah. What's next, love? Well, we have a couple of bells I wanted to show. Bells are something people are into. Yes, bells are, although this is the first time we've ever had glass bells. We've, we've had some metal ones. This one is actually leaded crystal. I wanted you to hear it. It has a really pretty sound to it. So this is vintage Avon uh, leaded crystal. It has a pretty butterfly design. I don't know for sure if you can see that, but it has some butterfly and some flowers and also a butterfly up here on the handle. And this is $9.99. And then we also have another vintage bell. This um, has, it's porcelain with a wooden handle and a Norman Rockwell design. Ooh, this one's not quite as... Uh, it it's got a hearty ring to it. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's, this is called Flying High. So it's uh, two kids on the swing. It's very cute. I love it Norman Rockwell. Cute. He's yes. just got a wholesome feel about his work. A very wholesome feel. Mm -hmm. So there we are. Is that yeah. everything? I think that's everything. I think that is. Here we are, <laughs> six days, almost 24 hours in. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, so far, I would say, don't mm -hmm. know exactly what we're doing, I, but at the same yeah. time, raging success. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, this has been sort of a training week, I guess. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize, I mean, Rick and I have been doing this together, but um, I didn't realize he hadn't really walked through the process from beginning to end. So we've been kind of walking through it a little bit, and he's been learning some things. It's been really good. And it's we've been, been trying to figure out some things. So. Yes, this yeah. has definitely been a figuring out process. <laughs> it's beautiful. Everybody has been so supportive. Yes. Uh, the, the people where I used to work, mm -hmm. supportive. Mm -hmm. um, the My friends from church, supportive. You have been phenomenal. Yeah, we had so many shares and so many comments. Oh, I and wanted to talk likes. about that. Yes, that, that was awesome. Yes, we had uh, 560. You want to look it up real quick, Ron? Uh, Ron sure. It's uh, 560 <laughs> some likes, I think, flat, or uh, views on the video, and uh, 30 comments and 45 shares, I believe. It was 
amazing. So I don't know how to do this. We anymore. have a hundred and thirty-eight. We uh, did. We friends now. We gained I, followers. Followers, I yes. guess. Followers. Yes. I, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Oh, there we are. Five hundred and sixty-six views. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank Eight you. shares. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Thirty comments. God bless you guys. Yes. And forty-five thumbs up and hearts. So, yeah. Uh, super exciting. Thank you for participating in this thing. We're excited. Very good, dear. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, again. Uh, to everybody I used to work with, love you guys. Mm -hmm. Look for the Easter eggs. Um, thanks for thanks you. for sharing him with me. Oh, man, there <laughs> we go. They were happy to be rid of me. <laughs> my mm. Angie, take him. <laughs> so uh, we love you guys. Thank you very much for supporting us. Uh, thanks for the feedback on the pink bunny. Let us know <laughs> if you saw anything fun in this video. Mm -hmm. uh, Please like the videos. Please share the videos. Uh, if you are on uh, YouTube, please subscribe to yes. the videos. Mm -hmm. um, we are in Sugar Mill mm -hmm. in Mead on the corner of Highway 66 and I-25. You have to get over there. That's fun. And we are at uh, Vintage Marketplace in Fort Collins, College mm -hmm. in Trilby, mm -hmm. and you will find the IOD booth there. Yes. And you will find the vintage booth there. So uh, we thank you for your support. We're having <laughs> the best time, not knowing what we're doing, but uh, enjoying <laughs> every minute. We are enthusiastically uninformed. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so, for going on this journey with us. Thank you for going on the journey with us. We'll kind of share our story as we go. Mm -hmm. uh, and we just appreciate and love you guys. Thanks a lot. Have a good night, a good weekend. Bye bye. Oh, we didn't talk about the espresso. Oh, you didn't even finish yours, did you? Mm. I finished mine.